Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement for season two, episode seven of the sweeping historical drama Outlander, which is streaming now on Stars and Netflix. And a lot of you have told me this is gonna be another rompousy fun filled episode. Mm. <laughs> huh. I'm Claire's gotta be losing the baby. She has to be losing the baby. I just don't see how the baby is going to survive. This is going to be bad. However, it's gonna be bad, but mm. I noticed it at the end of episode six, which is, you know, they're in the forest, police are coming, Jamie's Claire, Claire's Jamie. Bad things are happening. And I saw my face where I went from, and my brain, I don't even know, I could pinpoint where my brain went from, oh no, this is terrible happening to instantly flipped behind the scenes going, hmm, why did it, why are they choosing, why are they choosing this story arc? Why did they choose this element? Why are we taking the plot there? What's gonna happen next that will make this the pivot? My brain immediately switched to dissecting story. I can't turn that off. <laughs> I know some people will say, just sit back, just enjoy it. And I do, I do very much just try to watch wash things and let story and characters or whatever wash over me, but I it will turn on a dime where my brain will flip and I'll want to know the why, the how, why are these puzzle pieces being, being put together this way? And that might happen here. So hopefully if you come to watch me be a puddle, that might happen. It might not. Again, managing expectations. I guess I'm ready to go. I guess I'm ready to get into it. I will be foregoing the Bonnie Prince Charlie drinking game today because I have a feeling it might not be appropriate, but I do have some wine <laughs> on standby. I do have a packet of tissues just in case. I got the big cozy blanket and I have you. You are here with me as well and I appreciate it oh so much. So hopefully you are ready to rock and roll. You got your comfort things about you and uh, let's just get to it. <laughs> Look, Mama, what a pretty bird. I was going to say that hand looked a little too modern of a sweater to be. That is a pretty bird, isn't it? When were you in Scotland, Mama? A long time ago. Why are we jumping time again? <laughs> and she has both rings, thank God. Oh, she looks like death. That's not good. You must stay quiet. You must. They didn't have anesthesia or nothing. Oh no. Oh no. That was her baby flying away, wasn't it? I am sorry, madame. She has joined the angels. She was Mornay. What did they do with her? What's my name? <laughs> Meanwhile, Jamie's in the Bastille, isn't he? Oh, where is she now? I baptized her and gave her a name, Faith. Oh. It is illegal unless the child is living, but I wanted her to be buried in hallowed ground. Sorry, Faith is a family name. Everyone in my family, some of me, has the name Faith somehow. It has been several days oh. now. Your fever is very Oh, hard. days. Is this Master Raymond? Uh, Master Raymond. Tell me what you see, madame. I see a scary old dude in a monk's cloak. The white hotness burned deep in my bones. The baby had come, but part of the placenta had not. Oh! It festered inside oh, my Oh no, womb. they didn't. 
They didn't. Oh, no. I don't know what he did or how he did it, but he healed me. What's more, he saved my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because here's this guy with like placenta and everything. I just, and it's just, can you imagine walking into that scene? Just. <sighs> You were Madonna. I'm not Madonna. I have no child. Oh. He's not dead. The English captain. He is badly wounded, and the British ambassador begged for him to be allowed to recover from his injuries in England. So how come he gets to go back to England? Cat with nine lives. How come he gets to go back and to thus, England? So is Frank. I don't know. I think I think Randall got a little castrated. But my husband betrayed me, Mother. Revenge mattered more to him than me. Or his child. I think you need to get the story first, Claire. I laid in that bed for weeks. I'd lost my husband and my child. Where else could I go? Oh, Suzette. Where to go home? Oh, and Fergus is brushing her hair. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Don't do anything bad to the spoons, Claire. Don't tell me about it. No, no, my lady. What did Jack do to Fergus? You don't know what I ordered. But, um, oh, no. You'll do. Jesus oh. Christ. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I wanted to. But... <laughs> and he came running. Reload! Reload! Bastard! A jewel! I demand a No! A private audience with the king? I wish to petition for my husband's release from the Bastille. I learned the reason he broke his promise. His majesty is a mercurial man. Not the one way to put it. There is it. a price <laughs> to such requests. <gasps> The king may expect to lie with you. What? I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to like turn in Master Raymond or others like him. It comes but not... to sacrificing my virtue, mother. <laughs> what? It's the list of things I have already lost in Paris. <laughs> this is terrible. Poison deflector, I see. I am inclined towards mercy, but... He could free Jamie with a word, or kill him. He could do with me as he liked. Tell me, if I was to grant your request, would you be inclined to grant me a small favor in return? I am at your majesty's complete disposal. Très bien. So pay. Because she's been near death. So far. Moisturizers. Moisturizers. Secret room. 
A. This does I got this. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Ominous, but beautiful. The king asks that you give us the benefit of your skills. <sighs> we knew this was coming. We knew this was coming. Veuillez lire les chefs d'accusation, s'il vous plaît. Were they both there? Vous comparez ici pour ce salari. Il nous faut aussi prendre en compte les preuves collectées dans la boutique de Maître Raymond, ainsi qu'à la résidence du Comte Saint-Germain. Oh. Oh. Pourquoi nous avons fait venir ici un témoin Un cœur pur qui ne saurait mentir. Elle peut voir l'âme d'un homme et sentir le mal qui y réside. Look into the soul. And if there is darkness within, they will be handed over to Monsieur Forêt and put to death. This is great conflict. A great obstacle, because I don't know how she's going to get... Let us commence. Ooh. Do I need this obstacle right now in the story? No, I do not. Do I appreciate, though, the... Oh, I appreciate it. I don't like it, but I appreciate it. This is a trick. This is a trick. I don't like this. I don't like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Claire, I see a shadow behind your eyes, Comte. I see an image. Claire, Claire, don't um, don't don't act like you're <laughs> too much. Keep it back. Keep it back. Keep back the. There's a the name in your mind, Ooh. Monsieur. Keep back it. This woman is a liar and a witch. This woman has also been known to drink poison and survive. And how do you come to this knowledge? Because I gave her the poison myself. Which we knew. Which we knew. I don't deny it. Madame Blanche is a white witch. And I practice white magic. Sire. Madame Fraser uh, mm. is not on trial here. Thank goodness. I see darkness in his soul. But only the normal darkness that lives in the souls of all men. I hate when she puts one of her schemes together. I always get so nervous. Even a king's. Perhaps we can aid your decision. Qu'on apporte les serpents. Well, here's where the snake from the opening credits came from. The Bible claims that a true believer can handle serpents and they will not harm him. Stupid witch test. It's a stupid witch test. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I may suggest another test. It is true. I drank the comp's poison and it did not kill me. Let him drink mine and see what happens. Let them both drink it. Bitter cascara. I knew the cascara would make both men ill, but wouldn't kill them. We knew that cascara was going to come back at some point. If both these men survive, you will set them free. We shall see if it pleases the king. <laughs> this episode has taken a turn. I did not see coming. Just. <laughs> 
I never saw Raymond add anything to it. A sleight of hand like the one he'd shown me in his shop. Give him the cup. Give it. Hand it to him. What? What? Inside the cup was death. Saint Germain knew it too. Master Raymond, what are you up to? Et votre sorcière qui suce la bite du diable. Nous reverrons en enfer. Mr. Executioner didn't like that. That was too easy. Your Majesty will honor my request. Maybe not. Not asking quite yet. <gasps> oh no. That's terrible. So terrible. Duh. I closed my eyes. <sighs> and thought of England. Well, at least it was quick. <laughs> this episode, my God. They made his beard look a little too groomed. Fergus told me what happened. And you see, I could not let Orlando go unpunished for what he did to the real lad. Uh -huh. the hell to God let me see her. Wisps of the most beautiful copper hair. Light to be side to see side. She's beautiful, isn't she? Il est temps, monsieur. you but it was me that put frank before our family frank is your family too but he's not here and now neither is our daughter it's not your fault it's my fault i already forgive you long before today for this and anything else you could ever do she hasn't told him about the king yet <laughs> there is something else. <laughs> I slept with the king <laughs> to buy your freedom. Ooh. And you did it to save my life. Sandra Main. Sandra Main. Just like I gave myself to Randall to save you. Very true, in a way. Sure. How can we ever be the same? No, we can't be. The only way we can live with it is to carry it. Together. Then bring me home to Scotland. But there's something I'd like to do first. Oh, 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 and a spoon! Oh my god. That spoon's not gonna stay there. Somebody who's in need's gonna whisk it away, melt it down, and sell it. We must bury you here in France. We must leave a bit of Scotland with you.
that was a corker of an episode, wasn't it? <laughs> it had such an odd rhythm to it because you had the absolute heartbreak, which we knew was happening. We saw it. We saw it. We knew it was happening. And then it had that whole witch trial in the center. <laughs> and then back to utter soul decimation. Just... Huh. Huh. Interesting. It was, it was interesting. So how the hell did Randall just be allowed to go back to England? Huh? Okay. <laughs> and so now I'm guessing their, their time here is coming to an end because they're like, screw it. Baby's gone. We're broken. We need to be repaired. The whole subverting the Jacobite rebellion. We're done. We're tired. We're going to take our toys and go home because the game is done. I feel as if that's where they're at in themselves. One thing I have to say is that, you know, sometimes weird things distract me. For example, the fake beard on Jamie was just too fake. And I, my eyes kept going, what did they do? To they couldn't have picked it out a little. Just made it look a little bit more like you were in, in, in jail for a long, long, long time. Slightly distracting. And I did find it very interesting, Claire's dress at the end, because yes, it was kind of finely French tailored, but it did have quite a bit of Scottish influence into it. And I found that dress fascinating. Yeah, lots of food for thought for this one. I, I would not be surprised if we see Master Raymond again. I don't know why they killed the comte. Now, at that point in time, are we really done in France? Are we really done in France? Well, I know we're going to come done soon, but huh. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> I think we need a little bit more livelier episodes. That would be great, please. And thank you. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> Episode seven. Down. I think we're halfway through this season. Who, what could possibly? Oh, I don't want to jinx us about asking what comes next. But thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. And I do hope that you've hit subscribe because we've got lots more seasons of Outlander to come. And I would like you were there with me for the adventure. So thank you again. Go stretch your body, have a drink of wine, <laughs> and then come back and see me. So until next time, y'all. Bye.